Oh my God, man. I am like, I am so pleasantly surprised. Welcome back to my channel. This is Smash Brush. So I know I don't normally post today, but I feel like I really, really wanted to try this product. This is something that has just released. Ulta actually just sent me an email this morning saying that they have it in their store at the moment. So I was like, okay, I need to go ahead and try this out because there has just been, I feel like so much hype and so much talk about this product. So I'm just gonna tell you what it is that I'm um, reviewing today in the first place. It is the new Morphe Fluidity. I don't know why I have hard time saying that word fluidity it is a new morphe fluidity concealer and foundation i feel like for the most part i've been hearing more bad reviews than good reviews but honestly you can never tell until you try it yourself because everyone has different skin types everyone just has different preferences too as soon as i bought it i wanted to try it on right away but i didn't want to do it i feel like i wanted to try it on but i wanted you guys to see like my reaction to it whether it was good or bad so if this is the video that you are interested in then just keep watching and without further ado let's get to it So I'm gonna tell you first off what the box says. For the Fluidity Foundation, it claims <laughs> to be a full coverage foundation, 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, that's pretty interesting, and water resistant. Okay, basically transfer resistant is like, you know how it, when you're on your phone or whatever, sometimes you'll get makeup there. So it's basically saying that won't happen or it won't like transfer to like clothes or like when you say hi to someone. I don't know. It says that it's free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, and it's great for all skin types. Okay. That's interesting. And the concealer says full coverage concealer. This one claims to have instant full on concealing power, blendable multitasking formula, free of fragrance and parabens. So if I'm right, they say that this is a matte finish. I don't know about this one, but I know this one for sure. I will say this, there were no testers available when I wanted to go purchase it at the Ulta. So I kind of like looked at pictures and I looked at like the, the range of colors, like the chart that Morphe had. I always like to go with my foundation a little bit deeper. That is what I am hoping I got, but we shall see. <laughs> this is the color F2.100. Right underneath that chart, it would say like what concealers would match with it if you want one like a regular concealer or if you wanted a brightening. So I obviously got the brightening concealer. This is in C2.25 and it looks like this. And then the foundation looks like this. This color seems all right. I just, I don't know. I don't I don't know if it's gonna like oxidize or not. My face is already moisturized. I don't really put on any primer. What I do like to do is actually use the Morphe setting mist. This setting mist is like amazing. I put it on before, after I apply it, and then at the very end. So I apply this stuff three times and I feel like it gives it a really, really pretty, like a natural, soft, dewy kind of finish. By the way, I don't know how I feel about my hair being like this, but I just wanted to try it. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my foundation first and then my concealer. The color definitely looks right. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not too far off from my hand. Definitely has a little bit more of like the yellow tone, which is definitely what I am. If this foundation is not the exact color, I do apologize. I wasn't trying to go extra, extra dark. We shall see. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, that totally looks like it'll match me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put little dots here and there. It says fragrance free, but it definitely smells like something. I feel like, you know what it smells like? It smells like paint. Like you ever paint your, like have you ever painted your walls or a room? I feel like that's what it smells like. I don't know if I'm happy about that. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, yeah, I just, I'm gonna create a little bit more dots here and there. And I'm using my Real Technique sponge. It's already wet, squeezed out all the water, so it's really nice and damp. And I'm, oh, I think I gotta work fast because, um, yeah, it wasn't blending in as much. I mean, so far it's not too bad. I think it is definitely more yellow, but uh, I can easily like neutralize it kind of like with the concealer, but it is definitely more on the yellow side. Like it is, it is more yellow than I thought it would be. 
I'm not going to add anymore because this actually is a lot of coverage. If anything, I think I'm going to add some on my neck area. But you see my neck is definitely a lot darker than my face. Um, I mean, obviously now you can't tell because I have foundation on, but this is always the struggle. My face is always very, very light. And then my neck is a whole lot darker. I'm just going to spread some of this right underneath. Okay, first impression, here we go. It doesn't feel like extremely matte and it doesn't feel like super cakey. I feel like it is definitely full coverage. I do see some areas are a little dry, like they kind of get a little patchy, but yeah, this is, this is actually not that bad. What I think I am gonna do is I wanna do an oxidation test. So basically, there are foundations that get darker after you apply them, and that is because they oxidize. So meaning when it touches air, after it dries out, it actually turns to a different color. Usually it turns darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half of my hand in this foundation, and then we'll kind of like check back later. We're gonna be able to see it on my face anyways, but I wanna see like the difference, you know? Okay, so I did, I don't know if you can tell, but I did this half, wait. Yeah, I did this half with foundation, and this side has nothing, so we'll check back later and see how that looks like. All right, so next I'm going to dive into the concealer. This is the part where I'm always like, oh, I really, um, I'm a high critique in concealers because I have purples that need to be covered, and I know I can use a corrector, but there are concealers out there that don't need a corrector, and I feel like if you claim to be full coverage, you should be able to cover it all right let's go ahead and use this color and apply right here it's definitely thick thick and I'm gonna put a little bit here on the bridge of my nose and a little bit right here Let's go ahead and blend this baby out. Whoa, that is full coverage, guys. I can't see anything there. Like, I didn't need to double dip in there either. And this is like, this is covering it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's blend out this other one. Um, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna do a quick close-up here. Bruh, this is covering it all up. I'm actually really, really surprised. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, first impression on that is that it's freaking amazing. I'm like, lost for words. I'm like dumbfounded I'm, because I'm not gonna lie. I feel like when I think of Morphe, it's like, they're a higher-end drugstore brand. That's how I see them as. There has been some flops in the past or some things that I have mixed emotions about. So I don't ever have hopes, super high hopes. I kind of just go with the flow and see what happens. Okay, well, here's the real test. I feel like some foundations, like they kind of change up after you bake. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I'm using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. And I don't do a crazy amount of baking either because I don't like it when concealer gets way too dried up. So I'm just gonna apply right over it a decent amount. And let's do this side. And then from there, I'm really just gonna dust it quickly off. I don't like to leave this on for too long. Oh my gosh, guys. I think I think I found my current favorite concealer. That's hard for me to say because I am a huge critique on concealer. There's some concealers that they're awesome and full coverage, but then it makes your under eyes look super dry and like super cakey. And it just, I guess it doesn't set right. And I feel like I look like a nice clean slate. <laughs> this is all I've wanted in life. <laughs> wow, okay, I am, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my contour, my highlight, blush, lipstick, all of that. And we'll be back and we'll see. Let, let, I'll give you my final opinion. This is my finished look. Let's now go ahead and dive into each product. So first, let's talk about the Morphe foundation. If I had to rate it, I think I would give it like a seven. Seven. It's not too, it's not like the best, but it's not the worst either. I would see me using this again. It's a little hard to say, but I 
have a feeling that this foundation is going to be amazing, amazing for the summertime. It is definitely a matte finish. I do think that it oxidized a little bit. It did get a little bit darker and I'll actually show you like how it looks on my hand right now. I actually just cleaned off right here in the middle. That way you can really see the difference. I'm going to put this foundation fresh right next to it and just like blend it in. That way you can see. So you see this one does not look like this one at all. Like it looks super, super light. If I were to really blend it in, be fair, you same. So it's still a little bit lighter. It's not like the worst thing, but I feel like it almost went a little bit more towards the orange side. My face in general, I mean, it doesn't look like the worst. Like I, I don't feel like I look too like orange or yellow, um, but it definitely did get darker from when I first applied it. I think honestly, it's just an easy solution. I can easily just go ahead and get a lighter color. That way when it does oxidize, it'll be the color that I actually want it to be. But that's just a heads up for you guys. Um, I will say in certain areas, I do feel like I see a little bit more like extra texture because it really did dry out and that's that I put on this spray like three times I don't know how it would look like if I hadn't put on this spray not the best thing not the worst thing I'm I'm still eh about it I think I want to do a separate review where I actually do like a wear test um, I actually want to like uh, really test out to see if it is transfer resistant if it's sweat proof if it's waterproof like I think I want to do like a full video on that but this time it is just a first impression so this is just what I think at the moment I'll see how I feel about it at the end of the day and now let's go ahead and talk about the concealer I'm obsessed honestly I think this is like my favorite concealer at the moment like I said because I haven't really tried it on I can't say it's my favorite concealer of all time but I definitely like love this concealer and I think it has a, a really nice coverage I will say it is also still drying so you do want to make sure you do put on a nice eye cream over or just make sure you're just moisturizing um, because I feel like both of these products are more on the matte side but the concealer isn't like a matte where I feel like like it's it just makes me look old I guess if that's the word because I know there's some concealers that once it dries out it just it like doesn't settle nice at all this one actually settled pretty nicely yeah that is basically it guys thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my Tuesday video I'm actually going to be doing a review on the latest Fenty Beauty their concealer and then their setting powder so yeah stay tuned guys and again thank you guys so much for watching and for tuning in on a Sunday I will see you guys next time bye